I'm just going to say a few words and you use the, the projects in Ramsgate and Dover to illustrate the point. So it, I will say, make a few general points to begin with. First of all, I would say I think in the last 12 months or so, it's become quite apparent to me that we have got across the significance of heritage, not as maybe it used to be considered a, uh, uh, the, uh, the obsession or interest of a group of enthusiasts and experts, but something is really fundamental to, to turning round places, which is absolutely at the heart of big government programmes like the Towns Fund and Leveling Up. Um, and it's really encouraging to see that so many people are putting in bids to those that include heritage and mention heritage, uh, alongside, of course, other creative and cultural activity. But um, because I think heritage can be a really powerful symbol, both of decline and of renewal and, and, and uh, rebirth. Um, a large public building with plywood over the windows or the glass broken in the middle of a historic town or high street is a really poor indication that nobody cares. But a building like that that's been around for 20 years and suddenly the plywood comes down and the scaffolding goes up and somebody's beginning to do something with the aim of getting people in there, because of course a new use is absolutely critical to all of this, um, is a really powerful symbol of regeneration. And I think that you know often lies at the heart of, of many of these much bigger programs, uh, that there are one or two symbols like that that people can see and get hold of. And people in the local area believe that people outside that area care suddenly and are interested. And I don't mean parachuting in large quantities of money and then departing and you know having to come back 20 years later. Um, I mean engaging with local people projects led by local people and local and regional organisations and local authorities, of course, have a critical role, um, so that we act as enablers and providing finance, but, but not the project driver who then, the, you know, the attention focuses elsewhere. Um, so that was the, my, um, you know, the generic point I wanted to make to begin with. The other one being we can only work in partnership. And I think one of the reasons Heritage has begun to be taken more seriously as part of major government programmes is we are demonstrating that we do work in partnership with the National Lottery Heritage Fund, with the Arts Council, with local authorities, and critically, as I said, with um, national, regional and local organisations. Uh, in the case of um, Ramsgate, Turner Contemporary, in the case of Do Dover, the Land Trust, and other smaller organisations, so that these programmes are um, deeply embedded in local communities. Um, now, uh, Ramsgate, of course, uh, has demonstrated the, 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 that creative activity and heritage renewal go hand in hand. We, as Historic England, been engaged in Ramsgate for a number of years. It has not only a heritage action zone, but a high street heritage action zone, which is a slightly arcane distinction, but it does involve investment in the town centre on a relatively small scale, but a lot also advice and bringing people together and helping them formulate plans that work and are fundable. Um, and in Dover, of course, we, we are engaged um, in a lot of different projects uh, and our sister organisation, English Heritage, of course, runs Dover Castle. But we, I, I was on a, a visit last month with our Historic Places panel and we spent two very full days with the council and other stakeholders talking about uh, how we can um, help to make the most of what Dover has got, which is a fantastic series of assets, including Fort Bur Burgoyne, uh, you know, no real value except as a ruin until we can get a project like this going, bring people in, bring young people in, get them to help understand the place, and then people feel a sense of ownership and begin to treasure these places that, that are otherwise, as I say, just symbols of decline. So um, two great uh, projects under Great Place scheme there, and we're more than happy to be engaged with them and help. Um, and this is and has to be a commitment, not just for delivering a project or even a programme, but long-term. 
So, and, and from Historic England's point of view, we are committed to um, working with people in Ramsgate and in Dover and many other places across England uh, to make sure that we don't, this, this moment is not lost. COVID has made us look at our, the places around us with a fresh pair of eyes. Um, and I, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult to, to uh, claim that um, good things emerged from COVID, but I think in this sense, something did. Uh, and that is that, that people began to value the areas that, that they were just commuting from before, except at weekends. Uh, and look around them and look above the shop front and see the historic bones of the places in which they lived and realise that they were standing on the shoulders of previous generations. And th it's that that creates a sense of belonging and ownership and that that we need to make absolutely sure that in, in transforming these places, because the high street will change and places like Fort Burgoyne will change, we, we hold on to the best of the past but reimagine places in terms of, 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 of the direction of travel of the future. Thank you very much.